Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back from another video. This clip I'm about to share with you guys is so important to talk about because this is the state of majority of churches here in America and how these pastors think like most of these churches are not being led by the word. They're being led by their feelings and emotions. And that's most, you know, Christians that, you know, they're not being led by the Holy Spirit. They're being led by their emotions and feelings and, you know, what they feel is right. It's raining right now, but I don't even care. I'm going to make this short. And... People are using this word love to justify sin. They're using this word love to conform to this world, okay? And this clip I'm about to show you guys, it's so sad. You won't see any other religions doing this, only in Christianity. You know, even though the Bible condemns that over and over again in the Old and the New Testament. Now, if you struggle with certain lifestyles, this is why we have Christ to wash us away from our sins. We have to live a life of repentance. But let's share the clip. Watch this. This is so sad. I'm just typing a video. Is that all right? Are you, are you, is this Christian? And what are y'all doing here? Is it a church? What kind of a church? And you're doing this? Is God for this? God is for, is God for same-sex marriage? Where's that in the Bible? Oh, you don't know? God is love. Of course he is. But he's holy too. You believe God is holy? You believe he's got commands? And do you believe we should obey them? Do you believe we should obey them? Because Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Yeah. But love, love is not on the expense of truth, is it? You, this is an abomination to God. I do. Do you read your Bible? Do you read your Bible? But do you read your Bible? You don't? But this is supposed to be like a Christian church or something, right? Yeah, but a Christian is a Christ follower. You're not really following Christ. Christ? Are you following Christ? But this is an abomination. Oh, this is a, this is disgusting. You need to repent and trust Christ as your savior. Because without Christ, you're going to a devil's hell. Did you know that? You need the Lord. You've been deceived, man. And I don't want you to be deceived. I'm worried for your soul. Yes. You know what happened to Solomon Gomorrah? I'm not worried about you, you know what happened to Solomon? So I'm trying to figure out, you know, she was getting rebuked. And, and, and people have been, their, their program, when someone's telling them the truth, to them to get mad and get triggered but when someone's telling the truth which is going to save your soul because that those that church the whole congregation not just her not just the other guy i think it was on the side that whole congregation they're on their way to hell okay believing in false doctrines um being of the world even though the bible says certain practices you will not inherit god's kingdom in 1 corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 to 10. so a lot of people are afraid to tell people the truth they're afraid to speak against sin they're afraid to tell people that you know you must be holy uh, they're afraid to tell people that, you know, you got to be obedient to God. If you really love God, you're going to be obedient. But these churches aren't doing that. A lot of these churches, guys, are spiritually dead, okay? There's no Holy Spirit in these congregations. And that's why it's important, guys, to be led by the Holy Spirit. Seek out the spirit of the truth yourself. Don't rely on these churches. Don't rely on a pastor, a content creator. Rely on God himself so, so he can open your mind, to open your understanding so you can understand the scriptures. Ooh, it's raining hard right now, but I don't even care, man. Let's go. I really feel bad, though, man, because of the people. There's a lot of people who are lost. There's a lot of people who are lost and, you know, are led astray. And it's not their fault. It's just because they've been programmed that way. That's why it's very important once you become a believer to unlearn the lies you've been taught and to relearn. I had to do that many times on my walk. There was even a time where I stopped making YouTube videos when I first started, when, I, when God first called me. I stopped making YouTube videos for about three months because I wanted to make sure I knew the word. And, you know, also through experiences and, life, uh, you know, the spiritual warfare I was going through stuff like that so i feel like us as believers right now guys we got to really distance ourselves from those people who are want to just continue to be in, in you know practice of being of the world pretty much 
Okay, even the Bible says that love not the world, neither do the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not is not in him. It even says, you adulterers and adulteress, uh, know ye not that the friendship of the world is the enemy against God? Whoever shall therefore be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So that church, guys, that's of the world. But people might see, you know, they might see the cross. They might see, you know, Christianity. So they automatically assume that's of God. But no, this is why you got to test people's spirits. And, you know, try try whoever you're learning from, make sure they have sound doctrine. Because the Bible warns us in the last days that many people will be led away by false doctrine. They'll give over to itching ears. They'll have itching ears and they won't be following sound doctrine. And that's what we're seeing today. We're seeing people demonize people for preaching against sin, telling people the truth of the Bible, the gospel, and people are demonizing them. Okay, the wheats and the tares are being separated. I hope you guys have eyes to see. I know if you're a warrior for God, you can clearly see. If you have the helmet of salvation or the full armor of God, you can clearly see the spiritual warfare. You can clearly see Satan at work, Satan using his children to go against God's children. So stay woke. I love you guys so much. If you haven't already liked the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.